welcome to Play Infinite. Today today's September 5th, 2013, and it looks like Sony's finally getting around to releasing their first Windows 8 tablet. Um, and it's very, it's a really good competitor to the Microsoft Surface Pro, Pro. And in fact, I think it beats it in every single way possible, uh, except for maybe the battery life because we don't know too much about it just yet. So you can be the judge of that. I'm gonna go over the specs and features and you can decide for yourself at the end of this video. So this was a, a officially announced during Sony's IFA 2013 press conference on September 4th, 2013. <coughs> So um, let's start off with the CPU. Uh, it's going to be available in two different variants. So you can get the Intel Pentium CPUs or you can get the Intel uh, Haswell Core CPUs. So you can get the Core i3, i5 or you can choose the i7 if you want more performance there. Uh, this will come with a stylus or a, a, a pen input and they're not using Wacom. They're actually using a different company. I believe it's called Ntrig. So you're you're kind of limited into what pens you can use. So you'll have to use a stock pen or you can use a pen that was available with last year's Veo Duo 11. Um, but uh, you will have to use one of these uh, standard uh, pens. Uh, in terms of screen resolution, it's going to be a 1920 by 1080 IPS display, so that's a full HD display on this, and uh, you should be getting a really nice uh, viewing angles as well because it is an IPS display. This uh, the new Tap 11 does come with a keyboard, uh, in, so you can get an accessory, a keyboard accessory, very similar to Microsoft's uh, touch keyboard and touch covers, things like that that they had with the Surface. Sony's doing a similar thing with uh, the Sony Veo Tap 11. However, it's not a touch keyboard, it's more of the um, uh, just a standard button uh, clicking keyboard, so the mechanical type keyboards. And Sony's actually stating this is the world's thin thinnest uh, tablet PC out right now, so it may be the thinnest, thinnest PC out right now, but other manufacturers are still announcing things, so they might not hold this, uh, this new uh, thin uh, title for very long, especially because Microsoft may be uh, getting ready to announce the next generation Surface Pro very soon. So, uh, if they they may be thinner than the Veo Tap 11, but I still think this device is an amazing device, especially in comparison to the Surface Pro. The keyboard actually does not attach uh, at the bottom; it's still magnetic. It still attaches via a magnetic connector. However, it latches on uh, to the front of the tablet not the bottom edge of it, um, just a minor thing there, just a different way of how it attaches to the tablet. Um, another, uh, some other features include a micro HDMI socket, a full-sized uh, USB 3.0 port along with dual speakers uh, on the tablet itself. The design is very similar to the Xperia Tablet Z design and that is Sony's Omni Balance uh, design. It has straight edges, uniform thickness, that type of thing. They, they implement the same thing with the Tap 11. I like it, it looks really modern, and I really like the Xperia Z tablets, or Tablet Zs, uh, and Xperia Z smartphone Zs design, but I really didn't like uh, Android on my tablet, so so this Veo Tap 11 looks like a, a, a great change, a great alternative uh, over Android. It's obviously a lot more powerful with uh, full-on Intel Core CPUs, especially the Core i7 CPU as well. Uh, we're not too sure exactly what's um, gonna be the battery life and how that's gonna last, but the keyboard itself doesn't include any extra port or built-in battery, so that that will be sucking out of the, um, of the main tablet's battery life. So we're hoping that the battery on the tablet is as good as the other Sony tablets and hopefully as good as the Surface Pros because that wasn't too bad either. On the back there's an 8 megapixel camera with an XMAR RS sensor and Sony's been improving the low light performance on that sensor. So in terms of availability, uh, you like I said, you'll have an uh, option between the Pentium CPU or you can get a Haswell chip, aka the Core i3, the Core i5 or the Core i7. And um, you'll be also op uh, offered 128 gigabytes to 512 gigabytes of solid state storage in there. And it also has NFC support, just like Sony's other uh, Veo uh, tablets. And remember, you can check out all my other Sony coverage coming out of IFA at my channel. I even talked about the Veo uh, Tap 20 or Veo Tap 21, which is their more larger uh, desktop style slate. Uh, for more information, check out my channel. 
We're not too sure about uh, pricing or release date information or, or when it'll be available in the US. Nothing that, none, none of that. Sony hasn't announced any of that yet. Um, but they did say that it'll be available in black and white. So stay tuned for more information on that. Also, one small thing is that Sony did say it'll have a six hour battery. However, um, I'm not too sure how it'll be with the keyboard sucking the battery life out along with uh, it really changes depending on the chip that you have. So if you have a Core i7, I'm pretty sure it's going to be different than a Pentium chip or a Core i3. So uh, that it, this, the battery life of your tablet is really going to depend on what configuration you get, what you use it for, how often you use it, different variables like that. Anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think about the Tap 11 down below in the comment section. Uh, and let me know what you think about uh, Sony's other Veo devices in this comment section as well. And remember to check out all my other videos uh, covering Sony's uh, uh, new devices that they released out of IFA 2013, including their tablets, uh, their laptops, and their smartphones. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Planet for a lot more coverage on anything related to Sony, anything related to technology news, uh, all of that stuff here at Planet. Thanks for watching.